Hey uh, folks, welcome back. You are watching BSG Online 8, Benefiting Mind. My name is TinyTim78. I'm going to be your host for the next few runs here. And we're kicking off with a fantastic race of Kirby's Dreamland between Ghost Senpai and Dunkle Gothic. Please take it away. Hello, people. We have been uh, introduced from oh, Ghost Senpai. Next to me, I have amazing friend and don't and you're gonna be you're gonna be able to enjoy on a bit uh, something that i like to consider like a mean race between us because uh, we are both managers from uh, uh from speed from speed gaming uh, international language channels so this is totally this race has began mostly like a meme and people have enjoyed that and yeah, there's an interesting reason why we began uh, learning this game, which is Kirby's Dream Land, the first Kirby game that um, where Kirby cannot uh, copy abilities. So if you are mostly used to the actual Kirby, this is kind of weird, as in this game, Kirby cannot uh, copy any abilities, so uh, the mechanics are slightly different. And this is a nice game that I like to consider like a good introduction for speedrunning, as it's really easy to learn, so let's see if on this day I'm gonna be achieving a third uh, win on these amazing friendly races, or if it's gonna be the first one, uh, the first win for Dunkle. Uh, both of us have the same uh, level of ability, but um, there are some RNG stuff that outline our commentator is gonna be talking about during the run, so I don't know what I'm doing. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go! I am ready. Yeah, I'll be... <laughs> yeah, so I, we introduce Alan. She's gonna be our commentator for the race, so this is gonna be something interesting to watch. Um, I'm ready to start with Alan, so you can do the countdown. Well, I wish you good luck to both runners. And. I have to see this race here. happens again. And again, and well, again, and again, and again. And again, and again. <laughs> well, it's time. Are you ready? Uh, are you ready? <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. It's time. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Well, now we're just trying uh, for green rings, and green rings, uh, there are some enemies in the way. Uh, are, oh, <laughs> most of the levels uh, have many enemies in the way, which uh, Dunko and uh, Gosepai have to do. Uh, is avoid them uh, and the the, uh, the faster way to run really Kirby is walking uh, for incredible uh, like the only way he has to move mostly. yes because the flying uh, is slow but uh, they are gonna use in, in some moments but walking is more faster and uh, they are gonna use uh, the swallow to really soul and enemies in the way. And with this, uh, the run is made. Basic basically, uh, you need to walk, swallow, and toss the enemy uh, and, and continue the run. And the first boss uh, is just Wispy Woods, Wispy Woods, and uh, he can blow or give it fruit, fruits. Uh, you need uh, the fruits to throw at him because uh, you know that the fruits you can attack him because uh, Kirby in the first game uh, he don't have any copy abilities. And because of this, you need uh, to have care. Uh, count on to get uh, the fruits it all uh, been hit and second stage uh, castle lololo 
Oh, how I can say Castle Lolo because the adventures of Lolo uh, is uh, is read uh, by another game by How Laboratories, which is as adventures of Lolo, uh, who hasn't played. It's a good game, uh, puzzle game, and uh, the mid fight your friend just Lolo. Uh, three times, most of the levels uh, have uh, just a uh, mid boss fight, except the third one. Uh, it doesn't have, and nobody is gonna use the chili strats because the chili strats are very risky, are very risky to use. Uh, you can kill uh, Lola Lala very fast, but still, if you lose time. Uh, with two power, healing power, uh, you lost time, and because this Dunkel and Phantasma, the Ghost Senpai, is not gonna use uh, the chill, the chili for this run. But uh, you need uh, a good RNG to uh, reach uh, Lolo and Lala in this level because they can appear in any door in any moment and now float island uh the third level this is the only level which uh you don't have a mid boss fight only a boss to in front in the way but there is a lot of, of water and because of this they uh, it's more easily to float <laughs> with Kirby than walking, but uh, the little piece of uh, earth, it is, uh, sorry, they can uh, walking a little. <laughs> sorry about my arrows uh, in English because. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I think that I, people understand uh, right now that little, they are, they are they're, they're enjoying <laughs> three people who their main language is not English, but we are trying to do our best, so we're fine. <laughs> Can I just we'll say you're doing you. brilliantly? You're all doing brilliantly, thank you so much. <laughs> well, now they're uh, gonna have just the cutscene, the way low cutscene. I love the cutscene because it's very funny uh, to see Kirby flying. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and now uh, uh, they're going to battle. Uh, just a minute. Oh, sorry again. My Portuguese <laughs> attacks. <laughs> oops. oops. <laughs> right. They're now attacking uh, the boss. And the closer is more better to read the boss faster. Because if you attack uh, uh, in a long uh, distance, you can suffer a little more. <laughs> but at cost of the life, you can read the boss in this way. And now uh, the next level. Oh, this level is a terror for the all runners because a lot of the enemies and, and obvious uh, Krakow is the boss. And the one thing uh, this game have, which is not have a, any RNG, incredible is Krakow Jr. <laughs> Because Krakow Jr. he always used the same pattern and uh, Krakow don't because Krakow he has uh, some patterns but he can use it uh, how come I say it? He's a RNG. Also, in Castle three. of Life this level is dangerous too because uh, if you don't have uh, any culture, you can die easily. Okay, mostly on Krakow's girl, we're gonna be talking up again, seeing a difference on um, how the run is gonna go, because there's a chance that one of one of us uh, can get a good RNG and the other one seems to not. 
both of us can have a good RNG or both of us can have a really awful RNG. Everything will depend about the game's loot. So, expect the unexpected. And also, be some glitch, because why not? Yes! <laughs> Let's see how Crackle is going to do, because he uh, has most RNG in the game. But the king is always DDD. <laughs> DDD is the king of RNG in this game. If nobody knows well, the you... exist why this game was made, uh, it was somehow uh, talking about the people to uh, people in Nintendo thought uh, it was gonna be good to make a kind of easier game where people uh, were able to see the ending of the game because they were expecting that to do game typically and uh, not so many people had the end of a game. That's why you I think it's incredible how the name Kirby fits with perfect uh, perfect perfect right. <laughs> because of this history uh, of the Kirby helping Nintendo and uh, because of the... Uh, I can say the word. <laughs> Yes, a yes, a lover. <laughs> he have the Nintendo, it, because of, of this uh, Kirby game, uh, Norb, uh, name in this game. <laughs> now that we have Crackle, it once more. <laughs> Good senpai have the luck and win the It was not the best. It was not the best RNG, the... but it was good. It was good. And as we have and mentioned the... before, <laughs> that's a good level for a different. Yes, <laughs> the cool. Don't you have it, uh, much luck in the crank again? <laughs> I'm going to deja vu here. <laughs> And now, uh, the last level, you need to do a, a fight in, in, in each boss you, you reach and beat uh, before to uh, fight uh, DDD. And you can do any any order. In this case, uh, Dunkel and Phantasma, or Ghost Senpai, uh, choose uh, Lolilala first, but uh, Ghost Senpai is now in Float Island uh, to do uh, just, uh, just the balloon. balloon. Yeah, the reason oh. why we go with Lolilala <laughs> Refact first is because it's uh, when you land on um, Mountain Didi, that's the... A closest door you have, so I don't know why we began with that stage. And that's that you will always do crackle after Lolo Lala. Uh, uh, yep. Each runner has a preference uh, to do uh, so many bosses in any other. In this case, I prefer to fight first a uh, Kabula runner than a uh, like Krako because there's a chance that you can get hit uh, with Kabula trying to get closer. So I prefer to do damage there and see what I can do instead of trying to do that boss fight in, on a safer way. In the past, I used to do Krako first and then Kabula, but uh, it has been like since like a year ago when I changed my route. Something minimum. That's more than like a problem. It's not like that's gonna be faster or not. Is it interesting? Uh, because uh, the last uh, stage, you need help uh, to fight DDD, and just the Kabula fight is a problem because you need to be closer to him to attack and destroy. Well, uh, Duncan now is going to do Kabula now, and uh, only uh, thing rest to DDD fight is we speed now to Phantasma or Ghost Senpai, and Duncan 
it's thank you so many hits, but well, this happens. <laughs> yeah. Brackley is awful in both the reflag and Fountain as a main bot. And now, all the runners uh, in our uh, Wispy Woods. Wispy finishes. And go to the fight. Only have it now. TTD to deal. It's the moment. The show of RNG. And DDD is doing good to go to some fight. But the life. Oh my god. No, I, I took that dead on propose. I simply had to no, take a risk. Because oh, no. if, you're, if you're low on, on health against DDD, it's something really awful. So it's better to have as oh, much health no. as possible. <laughs> well, start the fight again. <laughs> it's a problem uh, in a race, <laughs> especially. But uh, got some fun having more luck than Dunkyo again. <laughs> uh, always. Let's see. Uh, in the moment, uh, is that draw? But Duncan in the oh, a draw? No, Duncan <laughs> is is a hat. Duncan's a hat. Time finishes oh, no. on last hit. Oh my God, Duncan finishes. <laughs> really? Yes, he wins. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was so close! <laughs> <laughs> yes! It was a really Very good close. RNG at the end. <laughs> Finally, Dunkel wins! <laughs> First win for Dunkel, nice. Yeah. GG, both? That was brilliant! Yeah. Back and forth! Really I loved nice. it! Yeah, and. Well, uh, talking about uh, what happened here, something similar happened on our first race that we had on a marathon on December last year, where Dunkel was slightly ahead, but I got a better RNG uh, at the end against DDD, and that's why I won. So something similar happened here against Dunkel. Well, I just want to see GG for him, because uh, this is also his first win. And something I need to mention, I think that his PB is at 12, uh, 21 or something like that. I don't yeah, remember exactly. 21. Okay. 12, 21, and my PB is at 12, 37. So, um, again, a good example about how RNG can be bad is that something, some, sometimes good or something bad is uh, that fact that it doesn't matter the difference of time. Uh, somebody with a worse time can be ahead than the one that has a better time. That's ha that's something that happened on our happened on our previous races. But now it was uh, just his time for for Donkey also as you have seen well I got a, I was running lightly on my side. I got a thirteen fifty four so I don't know uh, which time got Donkey. But uh, well you have seen uh, how how this game, Mundial Races, can put you ahead or behind uh, your opponent. Because also we, uh, Dunkel and myself, run two different uh, tournaments of this game. And a lot of uh, similar things were seen there. Because, again, it doesn't matter how much effort you put trying to uh, save time. When the game are you simply is going to be nothing but a troll. Because I also got some pretty bad moments during the race. And I tried to do my best to handle it. But yeah, seeing right now at the mainstream, it looks like it was like a three to four set with the with the ending tilt. It was really good. I really like that. Okay, is there anything? Is there anything else? Is that uh, we're going to have to move on? But I thank you so much for that incredible run. And thanks for giving us the thank opportunity. You. Yeah, it's a pleasure with uh, PSG staff. This is not the first time that I've been here. This is first. And uh, um, I really appreciate that, again, the opportunity that was uh, given to be here. 
and remotely uh, having a, a race with a good friend, which is helpful. Okay, thank you I very much indeed. Yeah. And oh, I, really, I, really, I really hope that uh, everybody enjoyed that. And again, this is uh, if you want to learn a new game or you want to be a new person to speed running, get us straight to this game. Even without Strat, you can get like a 15 or 14. This is a really good game to begin running. This is something that you can complete in less than an hour, less than one hour, casually talking. So feel free to give it a try. Perfect. Thank you very much indeed, both. Really enjoyed that. Right. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back very shortly. We have our next run coming up after this short intermission. It's going to be Super Metroid Exposition, Exposition Z with Linkermeister. Don't go anywhere.